Ang topic natin ngayon is all about solving rational equations. Bago tayo magsimula, do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. What you need to know? So, pag-aaralan natin kung paano mag-solve ng rational equations. Ang rational equation ay equation which involves rational expressions. So, kung paano mag-solve ng rational equation, susundin lang natin ang steps na ito. Number one, find the least common denominator. Ang LCD ay tinatawag ding least common multiple of the denominators. Number two, multiply both sides of the equation by the least common denominator. Number three, solve the equation. And number four, check the solution. Let us try to solve the x in the equation 7x plus 12 all over 4x plus 3 equals 2 over 5. So, this is an example of rational equations. So, hanapin natin ang unknown. So, first step, copy the given. Then, let us find the least common denominator. Tapos, imumultiply natin both sides of the equation. So, pwede din natin gamitan ng cross multiplication. Then, find their cross products. So, 7x plus 12 times 5. At ang 2, ita times natin or imumultiply natin sa 4x plus 3. So, ito yun. Then, using distributive property of multiplication, We have 5 times 7x is 35x. Then, 5 times 12 is 60. Then, copy the equal sign. 2 times 4x is 8x. Then, 2 times 3 is 6. Then, combine like terms. 35x minus 8x is equal to 27x. Then, pag tinranspose natin ang 60 to the other side of the equation, so magiging negative 60. So, negative 60 plus 6 is negative 54. So, i-isolate natin o ibubukod natin ang x. Papaano mabubukod ang x? Divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient, which is 27. So, 27x Divided by 27 is equal to negative 54 over 27. Tapos makakancel ang 27. Ang may iwan, yung x. Then negative 54 divided by 27 is negative 2. So ito yung value ng ating unknown, which is negative 2. Let us check kung tama yung ating nakuhang value ng x. Paano natin ma-check? Isa substitute lang natin ang value ng x which is negative 2 to the original equation. 7 times negative 2 plus 12 all over 4 times negative 2 plus 3 is equal to 2 over 5. Yung lahat ng x pinaltan lang natin ng negative 2. Then si simplify natin. So, 7 times negative 2 is negative 14, copy positive 12, over 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, copy plus 3, then equals 2 over 5. Negative 14 plus 12 is negative 2, then negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5, equals 2 over 5. So, kapag ka nag-divide tayo, or kapag ka magkatulad ang numerator at denominator na negative, magiging positive. Negative divided by negative is positive. 
So, ang negative 2 over negative 5 is the same as 2 over 5. So, kung makikita natin, equal sila. Next example. Solve for x in the equation 2x plus 6 over x minus 5 equals x plus 3 over x minus 1. The least common denominator is x minus 5 and x minus 1. So, pwede nating kuhanin ang cross products using cross multiplication method. Imumultiply natin ang 2x plus 6 sa x minus 1 at ang x minus 5 sa x plus 3. So, ito yun. Then, then using FOIL method, 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 1 is negative 2x. Then, 6 times x is 6x. 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. Copy the equal sign. x times x is x squared. x times 3 is positive 3x. Then, negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. Then, combine like terms. So, 2x squared, just copy. Then, negative 2x plus 6x is positive 4x. So, negative 2 plus 6 is positive 4. Pag mamainusin lamang ang 6 at 2, dahil sila ay opposite sign or unlike sign, tapos kukopyahin lang ang sign nung may malaki, which is positive. Then, copy negative 6. Then, copy the equal sign. x squared. Then, 3x minus 5x is negative 2x. Then, copy negative 15. Combine like terms. 2x squared minus x. So, bakit naging negative ang sign ng x squared? Dahil tinranspose natin siya sa kabilang side ng equation. Kaya magiging negative ang sign. Then, copy, positive 4x. Then, negative 2x, itatranspose ulit, magiging positive 2x. Copy, negative 6x. Then, transpose, negative 15. Kaya siya naging positive 15 or plus 15. Then, 2x squared minus x squared is x squared. Kasi 2 ang numerical coefficient. At ito naman ay 1. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, hindi na natin inilalagay ang 1 as the numerical coefficient. So, magiging x squared na lang. Then, 4x plus 2x, pagsasamahin lang ang numerical coefficient na 4 at ng 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. Then, copy the common variable which is x. Then, negative 6 plus 15 is positive 9. Ang x squared plus 6x plus 9 is a quadratic equation. So, kukunin natin ang factors niya. So, ang factors ng x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to 0 ay x plus 3 times the quantity of x plus 3. Then, kukuhanin natin ang value ng x. So, x plus 3 is equal to 0. Then, x plus 3 is equal to 0. So, x is equal to negative 3. To check kung tama ang nakuha nating value ng x, which is negative 3, isa-substitute natin ang value ng x sa ating original equation. Magiging 2 times negative 3 plus 6 all over negative 3 minus 5 is equal to negative 3 plus 3 all over negative 3 minus 1. So, lahat ng x dito sa ating original equation, pinaltan lang natin ang negative 3. 
Then, simplify. So, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Then, copy plus 6. Over negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8. Equals negative 3 plus 3 over negative 4. Since negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. So, negative 6 plus 6. Kita naman natin. Sagot ay 0. Then, negative 3 plus 3 is equal to 0 also. So, the answer is 0. So, tama ang ating sagot. Next, let us solve for x in the equation 4x plus 2 over x plus 4 plus 3 over x is equal to 21 over x squared plus 4x. So, ang ating least common denominator ay x plus 4, x and x squared plus 4x. So, ito ang ating solution. x times the quantity of 4x plus 2 plus 3 times the quantity of x plus 4 is equal to 21. Then, using distributive property of multiplication, we have x times 4x is 4x squared. x times 2 is 2x. Then, 3 times x is 3x. Then, 3 times 4 is positive 12. Then, transpose positive 21 to the other side of the equation, then change the sign. Kaya siya ay naging negative 21. Then, combining like terms, so we have 4x squared, just copy. Then, 2x plus 3x is 5x. Then, 12 minus 21 is negative 9. So, ang factors ng quadratic equation na ito ay 4x plus 9 times the quantity of x minus 1. So, solve natin ang value ng x. 4x plus 9 is equal to 0 at ang x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, transpose natin ang negative 9 to the other side of the equation then change the sign. Ganon din ang gagawin natin sa kabila. x minus 1 is equal to 0, magiging x is equal to 1. So, ito yung isang value ng ating x, which is positive 1. Dito naman sa kabila, to isolate the variable x, or para mabukod ang x, di-divide natin both sides of the equation by positive 4. So, we have 4x over 4, is equal to negative 9 over 4. So, the value of x is equal to negative 9 over 4. To check kung alin sa dalawa ang solution or the value of x, isa substitute lang natin ang value ng 1 at ang negative 9 over 4 doon sa ating original equation. So, kayo ang magsa-substitute ng value ng x sa ating original equation. Check the solution by substituting the computed value of x in the original equation. Isusulat nyo sa comment section kung ano ang inyong sagot. Kung solution ba ang x is equal to 1? Solution ba ang x is equal to negative 9 over 4? Ito lang bang 1 or ito lang bang negative 9 over 4 or parehas sila? So, write your answer in the comment section below. So, thanks. Ang next topic natin is about solving rational inequalities. Thanks and God bless.